A new vocal technique to perfectly place your vocal in your track. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. Hey you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. So you've got your vocals and you've got your track. How do we keep the vocals out front, legible, and punchy without losing the power and the fullness of our track? This is one of the biggest dilemmas in mixing, and there's a new way to solve it. Watch this. All right, you guys, a great one, a great technique for vocals, man. This one's killer that I learned from um, one of my dear mentors, Mike Clute, great producer, Grammy-winning producer, mixer, engineer. I owe so much to him. So he, <laughs> he said, you got to check this out. So he gave me permission to pass it on. And uh, so let me play this chorus and let me show you this fabulous vocal technique. A lot of vocals in the chorus here. You started a fire, and you're gonna know I can't do it all. I can do it all. I can't do it all. I can do it all. I can't do it all. I can do it all. I can't. All right, a little something I'm working on for a commercial. So, what I'm gonna do is. Basically, these four vocals here are the lead vocal of the chorus. I can't do it all. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to double it. So let's make that in red so I know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take, that's a delay. Uh, Manny delay, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that off. And as you'll see, let me go to my mixer. And as you'll see here, um, I have the entire track, just the instruments here, um, some ooze I didn't use, and vocals, chorus vocals here. This is a march. There's some percussive march stuff. And that's also going over here to the track. So I have the track and the chorus. So if I hit this track, I've bust all of my instruments to that before my master bus down there. So I'm going to go to my track and I'm going to put on Soothe. If you don't know what Soothe is, sorry typing here uh, you need to know basically soothe will take and dip out resonance in your vocal or anything else real time that seems spiky um, you have depth control hard soft all that a lot of people put this on vocals a lot of people put this on uh, guitars with too much mid-range and it's absolutely brilliant the first time i heard about it was from eric valentine and if he's into it so am i so i've put this onto my track and as you can see it'll dip out resonance on my track But I don't want those dipped out on my track right there because I like the way the track sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage the side chain. I don't know why, but here, this is how I engage it in Cubase, which I'm sure your DAW has it. And you have to engage it on the plug in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my vocal here that I copied. And I'm going to make that the side, train, side chain trigger. Now, what a side chain trigger does is instead of my track on this channel triggering all of these frequencies to be ducked, now these frequencies are going to be ducked by whatever I side chain it with. So I've side chained it 
from my dummy vocal. So let's watch that trigger. You'll see that this won't be triggering until that vocal comes in. So as you can see, when the music's playing and that lead vocal isn't singing, nothing is happening there because all of this reduction is only triggered by that dummy vocal that I copied. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go to this dummy vocal that's going to my, this is the output of that vocal that's going to my chorus vocals right here, and I want to turn that to no bus. So now that's going nowhere. I'm playing it and you can't hear it. But it's still sidechain triggering my track. So every time my track plays in that chorus, it will trigger the frequencies that the vocal are, is triggering to leave more space in my track. It's absolutely brilliant. It's just taking the frequencies that it detects from that vocal, and I don't really need any down. I mean, these are the low. This is the low part of the vocal, two fifty-five. I mean, I really want to get in this mid-range and upper mid-range, so it attenuates those frequencies down in my track only when she's singing, and only in those spots and I, I mean I can change how the cue in this it's just brilliant so when my chorus starts it's being triggered by that dummy vocal and leaving lots of room for the vocals because it's attenuating my track down So, another way to use Soothe, whereas so many times I put it on a lead vocal or, a, like I said, a guitar that has lots of mid-range or things that you really want to just take those uh, horrible frequencies and just um, get them out. It's a great way to sidechain it on a track to leave much more room for your lead vocal, which, as we all know, is the most important part of any song. Well, there you go. Not only is this a great technique for getting your vocals to pop over your track, but it's also been a great lesson for me to learn new ways to use the plugins that I already have. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.